Hi guys, it's me, Michael, the People's Puppet. I'm just going to go through some of the housemates and let you know what I think of them. As you know, I wasn't a housemate. I was in there to stir things up. And I think I've done that with your help. So we're just going to get straight to it. I mean, as you know, there's a lot of people we've seen bits of. We've seen Sally. She's gone now. Um, somebody who I think is going to come to light in the next couple of days is Sophie. Sophie's a very interesting girl. Um, she's very intelligent. She's on the ball. She has a lot of fun as well. But I think she's a strong woman. And I think people are underestimating her in the house. There's a, a lot of strong women in there. Um, they're laying low, and, but they're getting their points across. One of the other ones is Hazel. Hazel is a very intelligent woman as well, and I think she could run the house if she wanted to do that. Um, at the moment, the guys think they're in charge. People like Dan um, think they're running the house, but at the end of the day, he's just so suspicious. He's ruining uh, his chances, I think, in a way, because he's an intelligent fella, and he's a very nice guy as well. Now, somebody who I think is going to be one to watch, he may be out this week, I think he may get nominated, but we'll see, is Dexter. He has a massive game plan. I don't think it's the best game plan. He thinks he's more intelligent than Big Brother. He thinks he knows what's about to happen. He thinks the secrets and lies theme is that we're all connected or related in some way, um, which could happen. You never know. I don't know all the secrets either. But he's, he thinks he's 10 steps ahead, but actually he's about four steps behind the whole time. And people are on to him now, so he'll probably get nominated. Wolfie, love Wolfie. The thing is, though, because she's so unique, she is going to get a lot of suspicion, especially from Dan, as I've just said. But she's a unique character, she speaks her mind, and she's lovely, she's an absolute sweetheart. So hopefully she'll go the whole way and not get too many nominations. Jack and Joe, amazing, absolutely amazing. We love them, they're so funny, they're so honest as well. And people keep talking about their age, they keep saying, oh, you're only 18, why did you come into the house when you were only 18? The fact is, they're more intelligent and more worldly than a lot, well, some of the housemates that are in there. So don't underestimate them because of their age. And they're hilarious. They cracked me up at least 10 times a day. Now, everyone else, Sam is a great guy. We really, really like Sam. I think hopefully he'll come out of his shell a bit more when he just feels safe in there. Do you know, he's, do you know, he's in his 20s, but I don't think he's totally felt comfortable in there. But he's starting to make friends, and I think we'll see a lot more of him. Gina's an interesting one. Gina's a, a really good girl. Again, very intelligent, very powerful woman. And I think we're going to see a lot more from Gina. We want her to speak her mind. We want her to tell the other housemates what she's thinking. And who knows, there might be a few tasks that'll pull that out of her. So hopefully that'll go the way. Yeah, they're an interesting bunch. I think we're in for a great summer. I think the whole mole actor task was perfect because what it's done is it's put them all on edge. None of them trust each other. Even if they say they do, they don't trust each other. They're so suspicious of everyone. And that will mix up the nominations. It won't mean gangs against gangs or nice people against bad people. It will simply mean that you trust no one. And we're in for a very interesting summer. So that was my housemate analysis. That's what I think. I've lived with them for a week. Stay tuned to more stuff on Channel 5 website.